Hey guys, uh, just a quick update. Um, I came back from London yes- yesterday after attending my sister's wedding. And uh, when I, re- I reached uh, immigration here at the uh, Washington Dallas airport, they said I, um, I overstayed the last time I was here and they weren't going to admit me, and um, which is fine, um, which is fine. I got you know, held up at the, you know, uh, the immigration for a long time to the point where we missed our flight going back to Alabama. And um, so I got annoyed and I said, I pretty much, I said to the officer, that's fine, I'll go back to Europe. I know I needed to leave to go to Europe and go to where I needed to go, but they wanted some sort of encouragement. And that was a reason for me to let me go back, you know. Uh, So they allowed me to enter after, you know, a long process of questioning and interrogation is bullshit kind of funny stuff. And I wasn't feeling well. I started to feel like I'm tired and losing steam and stuff. Anyhow, and um, I think maybe that's what I should have just said to my brother, I'm going to go back to Europe. And my brother goes, no, I think you stay. And I said, okay, they're not going to let me in. I'm not going to really beg them. I'm not a begging kind of person. So if they're not going to let me in, I'm going to go back. And they told me this in a dream. They're going to, they're going to cause hassles and, because they want me to go back to Sudan, which is I will never go back to Sudan. If I leave the United States, go anywhere, it will be Europe. And that's where they know where I'm going. So... Uh, you know, if they continue with this encouragement, I will continue with my mission to go back to Europe and, and I know where I'm going to go. They know where I'm going to go. So it doesn't matter. We're all free to, to do what we need to do. And, and if it's a hassle for me to stay in the U.S., uh, you know, due to my health condition, I'm not, I'm not going to come back. Fuck it. So you know what I mean? I'm just going to leave. So I'm going to see. They gave me a week to stay. They gave me a week. They said, but within one week, you have to leave. So the 19th of uh, January. So I'm going to try to, you know, uh, go to Mexico or something like that because I'm refusing to go to Canada because I feel like my mother was murdered in Canada and I'm not going to go back to Canada. Uh, So anyhow. I'm going to go to Mexico. I'm going to try to enter the U.S. again. Uh, and hopefully, you know, we're going to give me an extension of a visa, maybe, f- you know, five, six months. But they're not going to give it to me. That's fine. I think it will be time to, to go back to, uh, uh, to Europe. So uh, all in a plan. And so we're going to see what they're going to do because they're playing games with me and uh retaliation of just i haven't really done anything to them but they're playing games they want me where they want me they want they're doing the impossible to get me to go back to sudan which is i will not go back to sudan i'm done with sudan i'm done with renovation i'm done being in sudan and nobody's gonna make me force me to do anything i don't want to do so if they want to go to sudan go ahead they can go they can go back to Sudan if they want, but I'm not going to. Do you know what I'm saying? Because they want me in Sudan because they can do more to me and, you know, cause me major health attacks and, you know, put me in a hospital or doing things like that. And I'm not going to give them that, you know, uh, power over me. So, so I just wanted to give you a heads up of what's going on with me and what the enemy has been doing. You know, you know, the husband Allah when I'm located, the enemy is very crafty. And, and um, I'm asking the creator of all things to give me justice against his enemy. You know, justice will be served. You know, if it's not on earth, it will be in the he- seventh heaven, you know, the, where the throne, the throne of God, you know, sits. And um, God is very fair and is not going to do me unjust, even though the enemies are, are doing me unjust just because they feel like they can, they can, you know, break the law and use the law to their advantage, use people into their advantage. Justice will be served.